Hey, beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day or night whenever you're watching this reading. We are here for a pop-up and today's pop-up is going to be all about your connection to the person on your mind. Whoever came to mind when this reading found you and you had a calling to click on it. So let's hop right into it. Today's pop-up um, is going to be an interesting one. I've gone ahead and gotten a mirrored spread here. Over here on the left, we're talking about your person. Then over here on the right, we are going to be talking about you. I do also want to note that if for some reason you feel like the roles are reversed here, you're more than welcome to do that. I just wanted you to know that I set my intention that this is your person and this is you. And then the center card here is something that's joining the both of you together right now. Okay, so up here with the alchemy cards, we are going to be talking about what is changing and shifting within you each as individuals at this time. So over here on the left, this is what is changing within your person right now. We have three cards representing what is actually going on within them currently, not necessarily changes they're going through, but how they're being represented in this connection. And ditto over here for you. This card up top is going to be chatting about the changes you are undergoing right now versus um, how you are coming across and being represented in this connection at this time. The center joining card is all about like the joint energies, what's going on within both of you at this time. So anyway, I hope that all makes sense. If it doesn't, um, it, I, I hope that it will make more sense as we go along. And bear with me, you guys. It's the morning. If you are... Uh, if you are with me on a regular basis, you know that I'm not a morning person. So just bear with me as I do this reading here today, you guys. Um, anyway, let's hop over here. We're going to chat about your person first. Um, when it comes to the changes they're undergoing right now, they are being represented as the sap of the moon plant. Then for like how they're coming across in the connection right now, how they're actually being represented, not necessarily the changes they're going through. We have the heart the nine of pentacles and the four of pentacles, okay? So let's get started by talking about what's currently going on within them in this dynamic. Let's start with these three cards first. I think that your person is feeling very protective over you in this connection and themselves at this time. It's almost like your person is on defense mode. And I don't necessarily see that as being a negative thing. I don't think they're being overly protective or overly controlling. That's not what I'm getting from this energy. In fact, it's almost like they're guarding their heart and they're guarding your heart at the same time. It's like this person wants to protect this connection. They want to nurture it. They want to take care of it. And they want to see where things are going to go in the future. I do think that this person thinks about a future with you. Whether or not the two of you are currently in a relationship or um, like in a 3D connection or not, it's something that they think about often. Um, they want to build. They feel like there's a lot of potential here. Um, it's almost like they feel some sort of an overabundance of love, okay? Um, of course, there could be some material abundance as well, like maybe this person is wealthy or they're well off or they're very good at money management or saving, but I think it's more of a metaphor in this context that this person feels an abundance of love. They feel like they are not really lacking anything in this connection um, and that they are like really wanting to pour their heart out to you. If they're not actually taking that step yet in this connection, I feel like it's coming soon if you're watching this simply because it's like like the imagery they just gave me is very reminiscent of the Ace of Cups in traditional tarot where it's almost like your person feels like their cup of love is about to start overflowing. Like they feel like there's just so much love within them that like it's going to start pouring out soon because it's like overfilled, if that makes sense. Um, so that's how I see your person being represented at this time. I think that they have in the past and maybe past connections be, been a little bit more guarded with their heart, but it's almost taken a 180 with you and your connection where they're feeling like they don't need to guard their heart. They need to protect it. They need to protect your heart as well. And they need to protect this connection because there's something very special about it. Um, when it comes to the changes that they're undergoing right now, 
uh, I think that they're having a lot of like psychic activations or they're having some sort of like very deep and profound dreams at night involving you and your connection, which is new for them because of course, this is a change that they're undergoing. Um, so I don't think they've experienced this before. It's almost like your person is kind of like diving into a whole new world and there's just something very brand new to this connection and it's unlocking a lot of new things within them, okay? I'll elaborate a little bit more on that as we go along. I do want to talk a bit about you now. Um, I feel like you're undergoing a pretty big change as well and it, in a way it's pretty similar to what your person is going through simply because the change that you are being represent like the change representing what you are going through right now this card up here the earth's heart in combination with the other cards here tells me that maybe in the past you've also been really guarded and protective over your feelings in your heart and there's something about you becoming more open at this time okay down here representing how you are currently being represented in this connection, we have the gem, the seven of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles. To me, it's telling me that it's almost like you are some sort of like, you're offering something to this person. And I feel like what that is, is emotional expression. I feel like you might metaphorically be offering them your heart, which is kind of different for you just because we have the earth's heart as the change I feel like maybe in general you're a lot like your person is um, in connections where it's difficult for you to fully open up emotionally and that's something that you are working on and you are trying to give to this connection with the purpose of maybe wanting to build something with them okay it's also interesting just a side note real quickly that all four of the tarot cards that came out are pentacles and then we literally have earth's heart over here okay um so i'm there's a lot of earth energy going on it could be that you and your person are both earth signs or maybe there's like earth dominant in your charts or even like your moon sign or something like that so i'd say pay close attention to that Either that or there's just like a lot of grounding energy going on for both of you at this time. It could be that this connection in a way is kind of like an anchor for both of you. So I'm feeling called to say that. It could be like very grounding, almost very sobering in a way. Um, but anyway, back, back to you. Um, I think that right now you are being represented as somebody who has been through a lot of turbulent times in their life. Um, and it could have caused you to like not see all of the special things that make you shine um, or not allow other people to see that. And there's something about this connection that is um, almost like motivating you to be more expressive and to give it up like an offering, like all of your feelings, all of your deep desires for this connection. It's almost like this connection is inspiring you to feel comfortable enough to like open up and actually bring that offering to the table. Whereas maybe in past relationships, you've remained closed off because I see that shifting within you. It's like a lot of buried emotions are coming up to the surface and it's something you're navigating through right now. And I think that it's all happening for a reason. The center card here is destiny path, omnia unus est number 35 and I did bookmark that so I can read it to you guys because this is kind of like one of the power cards of this deck as I'd like to call it um I say it, it's kind of fairly self-explanatory there's something about this connection that is very much fated and destined for both of you um this is definitely somebody you were meant to meet in this lifetime and vice versa from them to you okay with destiny path um, we have the bee and the snake. And you know what? I'm going to hold that up a little bit closer to the camera so you can look at the imagery here as I read it, just because there's a lot of symbolism that goes on in these cards. This is my animal apothecary deck to anybody who is interested. One of the most powerful cards in the deck, Omnia Unis Est, speaks of initiating the fulfillment of destiny through transmutation. Receiving this card means you are on the correct path, being led towards supreme success. It is confirmation that your destiny is in the works, even if current circumstances are contrary to your heart's deepest wishes. You have a profound purpose that is beyond your current understanding, but it is what every cell in your body has yearned to self-actualize. Even your limiting beliefs cannot stop the unfolding of your greatest potential. 
The symbol of the circles and triangle is known as the philo philosopher's stone, the symbol of transmutation and inner enlightenment. The alchemical process of turning lead into gold through a deep cooking and heating process is representative of the psyche transforming into its highest potential, leading to enlightenment and utter fulfillment of one's purpose in the physical realm. King Snake is the ultimate transmuter. He is non-venomous, yet he can eat poisonous snakes often bigger than himself. This teaches about your ability to transmute a toxic situation into your greatest asset. The bees in this image represent the gifts you have within that are of the utmost service to humanity. Bees are a gift to humanity as they pollinate about 80% of the crops we eat. Your purpose is also a great a gift of service to humanity. Above and below the king's snake, we see the image of the all-seeing eye guarding and guiding you. There is a force that created you that has been facilitating your growth this entire time. Lastly, connecting it all together is the Latin term omnia unis est, which translates to all is one, everything is connected. I just looked up and saw 1111 as I said that, you guys. <laughs> There's a mystery beyond your comprehension aligning you with what you were born to share. Every moment you have encountered has, was meant to bring you to exactly where you are right now. Ultimate self-actualization is your destiny. You are on the correct path, okay? So again, it literally says in this guidebook that that is one of the powerful cards of this deck, one of the most powerful cards. There's something about this connection for both of you that is meant to help you level up and transmute the negative and the past experience into something that is brilliant, shining, and golden. It's also fascinating that you are being represented as the gem and they're being represented as the heart. And both of them, in a way, are kind of like glowing examples of being more open and honest uh, with yourself and your purpose here, okay? Um, another thing I want to note is that there is something about this connection. It's the purpose of meeting this person isn't simply just to have like a romantic relationship with them or something like that. I feel like it's meant to open you up to being of service to others in one way, shape or form as well as this card notes. I think it's propelling each of you um, forward with your life's purpose and your life's mission. So this is certainly a faded connection brought into your life for a reason as well as theirs, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do next is hop into their current thoughts and feelings about you. That is what we are going to do next here. Dive a little bit deeper. If you are resonating with this reading so far and you are new to the channel, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. I'm also doing a free reading giveaway and I am announcing the winner to that pretty soon here on September 19th. So if you want a chance to win a free personal reading with me, all you have to do is comment on my videos and join the YouTube membership. So welcome and hello and welcome to all of my beautiful subscribers and YouTube members that are here again. So, all right. Talk to me about this person's current thoughts and feelings about the viewer, please. Okay. Wow, okay. We might have to do like a deep dive into their thoughts and feelings. Normally I do like a spread on their thoughts and feelings and then their intentions, but I think we might have to do a deep dive. Okay. And then let's get one more card out. Talk to me about this person's current thoughts and feelings about the viewer. This person is feeling very emotional about you right now. I don't know if this is something that has recently like ended or if there's been like a really turbulent time with this person recently or something like that but I think that's something that's scaring them I don't know if this is something that's currently going on within you or if this is like one of their own fears and insecurities um 
simply because we have the world, we have the King of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the very first card here is the Eight of Wands, okay? So to me, this is talking about somebody who is thinking about moving things forward. They want forward movement in this connection, but it's like this is the only card indicating that, and then the sandwiched cards, like the cards in the middle here, seem to be more concerned about an ending or a potential ending, um, or something very, very heavy that is weighing on both of you right now, that's kind of binding both of you, weighing on you. Um, this person may be thinking about bringing you an apology, or they're hoping you will bring them an apology, um, or some sort of an offering of peace. That's another thing that's coming through. I'm going to get a few more cards uh, just to get any additional information I can out here. Let's see if I can narrow it down and get a little bit more specific. This person is very emotional over you right now, okay? Because we also have the King of Cups coming out. I feel like they have a lot of love. They have just, a, like their emotions are on super drive right now, basically, okay? We have the King of Wands. We also have the Empress coming out. Okay, what else can you tell me about this person's current thoughts and feelings about the viewer? They want to work with you as a team on something. Okay, so I think whatever's because yeah, because then we have the nine of swords coming out. Let me get one more card out, you guys. They want to work with you on a team. I think maybe this is tough right now. Like both of you seem to be undergoing some pretty powerful changes. And yes, overwhelmingly, it seems positive, but it could be coming with, from like a turbulent time. Um, I feel like most change, even change for the better, often does come with some discomfort. So it could be that some discomforts are going on in this connection right now, and it's stressing one or both of you out, um, especially your person. They seem to be awfully stressed out right now. It's almost like they feel abandoned at this time. One more card, please, to talk about this person's thoughts and feelings, okay? This person does want to be with you and they want to work with you as a team, okay? But they're anxious, they're stressed out. For some reason, they're fearing some sort of loss here or some sort of an ending, okay? Um, and I don't know if that's, again, this is a general reading, so please take it how it resonates with your situation. For some of you out there, maybe you have gone through like a separation or a breakup with this person. Um, for others of you out there, like there's just been a lot of chaos and turbulence that's gone on in this connection recently, um, and they're stressing out about that. Like this person just wants to work with you as a team to like solve this, maybe mutually apologize, or again, they could be waiting on an apology from you or thinking about bringing an apology to you, um, but they're feeling kind of sad. They're feeling a little bit left out. They're anxious. They're nervous, um, and it seems like at this time... They, they don't want to give up hope, though. Even though they feel like there's an ending or a potential ending on the horizon, they're not wanting to give up hope. They're mostly focused on working with you as a team to get over something because ultimately they see some sort of a union here or the potential of a union, whether that's just the two of you coming together or remaining together or possibly you know, something deeper than that. That's what they're, they're hoping for. They want things to keep moving forward, but they're terrified of an ending for some reason. And I did see that there's like a lot of change and transmutation going on. Um, it could be that this person, you and this person learn a lot of really tough lessons with each other. Um, I wouldn't be surprised just based on the cards that came out like during the first spread here. This seems like a really intense connection. And maybe recently you've been going through one of those dips um, so to speak, like if there are hills and valleys, it could be that right now you're kind of in one of the low points of the connection where you're learning some harsh lessons with each other and um, it's just stressing them out. Basically, I'm going to take a sip of my water real quick and then we're going to see what their next moves are towards you. I do want to show you real quick because I just looked over at the back of this deck and we have the eight of wands coming out again. And it's interesting because in a way, the Eight of Wands is rounding out our reading. It's like sandwiching it in the first and the last card here. Okay, so I'd say that that's a significant energy. You can maybe expect communication from this person or they're thinking about how to communicate with you and move things forward. Let's get out some cards on their upcoming moves, their intentions towards you. And then I think I'm going to do an extended to see what the next chapter looks like between the two of you. Okay, so we're going to talk about their intentions right now. 
And then in the extended, we're going to talk about what the next chapter of this connection actually looks like between the two of you, okay? So their intentions, we have the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Give me a couple more cards here, please. Ooh. Okay, that is a heavy message because we have the Eight of Cups and Death coming out together and both of those can talk about an ending or walking away. So I wanna get a clarifier for that. What are this person's intentions, please? What are this person's intentions? Okay, we have the King of Swords to clarify those two, and then let's get a third card out. Okay. Talk to me about this person's intentions, please. Four of Wands. We have the Four of Wands come out again. Okay. Let's see. I need to find a way to like even this out, you guys. Hold on a second. There we go. Perfect. Okay. This is heavy. And the Four of Wands, as I packed up this deck, ended up, because I packed up all the cards, it ended up being the back of the deck when I packed up that from the last spread too. So the four of wands and the eight of wands seem to be extra highlighted in this reading from your person, at least at this time. Um, again, there's something about an ending here or a potential ending that's stressing your person out. It's like really freaking them out. They don't like it. Um, I see them wanting to come in and have a conversation with you about that. So maybe the two of you did recently break something off or um, that's something that they kind of want to like nip in the bud before it becomes a deeper issue. They do want to discuss this with you and like just work something out, at least get clear on what's really going on within both of you um, and what the boundaries are. It seems like they want a lighthearted energy. It's interesting because both the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands, which are rounding out the spread here, are cards of celebration. Um, yet in the very middle here, we have this heaviness and I'm even feeling like a heavy energy in my chest right now, like during this spread specifically, um, where it's like maybe there has been an ending between the two of you or there's been some kind of very intense conflict. And it's like this person wants to move out of this energy in the future and into something that is like the exact opposite. It's filled with connection, celebration, um, and fun, like lighthearted energy, okay? Um, it could be that maybe they're thinking of a way to bring that in because we have the Six of Pentacles here, which can talk about like almost overabundance. Um, in a way, sometimes I can read it as like somebody who wants to spoil you or take you out on a nice date um, or give you something because they have so much extra. They have so much abundance that they kind of want to pour into your cup as well because they have like so much to give basically is what I'm getting from that, okay? Um, now, that could be literal. This person could be thinking of some sort of a date or something they could do to spoil you or to give to you at this time or show you that they care. Um, otherwise, just based on the first spread here with how your person is being represented and what I was picking up from their side of this energy, um, it could also just be more metaphorical. Like this person has an abundance of love. They have abundance of care. They feel like the love and the abundance that they have in this connection is overflowing. Um, and I think that they want to and intend to bring more of that to the table here. Okay, but there's definitely a conversation that they want to have with you that involves some sort of an ending or a perceived ending or something like that, okay? So I see that coming from them, some sort of a conversation. Because I do think they want to be with you or they want to come back together with you if there already has been an ending because the Four of Wands rounding out the reading, you know, not only does it talk about celebration, but it also talks about connection and union. Um, and I think that that's heavy on your person's mind. In the extended, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what's actually coming next in this connection. And again, the info for the extended is going to be down below in the description box and or the pinned comment. Um, and if you join us over there on Patreon for the extended, you do get access to other Patreon exclusive videos as well, including all of my extended readings. So 
bonus. Okay. Something about the timing feels off with your person right now. This could be a person from your past. It's interesting because I wasn't picking that up in the very beginning of the reading, but as time has gone on here, um, there are notes of that. I wish things could be different. There's definitely been some type of a barrier in this connection that your person is struggling with, okay? I know I messed up everything. Maybe they feel like it's mostly their fault. Let's get out a couple more messages, please, from this person. I will wait for a sign from you. Maybe this person would like you to reach out first or something like that. Or they're literally just like waiting for something. This person could literally just be waiting for a sign, either literally directly from you or from the universe. They could be questioning what to do next um, and really like keeping an eye out for any type of guidance they can receive. Okay. Let's get a couple more cards out. What this? What would this person have to say right now if they felt like they could be totally open and honest at this time? Do I still have a chance? Yeah, for some of you out there, this is a past person. Or again, like if you're with this person, for some reason they're freaking out about this ending or this potential ending or this conflict. Like whatever conflict has happened in this connection recently is like super stressing your person out, okay? I need security. I daydream about a life with you. I won't let you down, okay? So this person, again, with all that Eight of Wands energy does not wanna let go of this connection. They want to come in. I feel like they want things to continue to move forward or they want things to move forward if there is a separation right now, as in move forward with you, not without you. They are still thinking about a life with you and they daydream about that. I think they fantasize about it. That could be another reason why we had the four of wands come out so prevalently here is that this person thinks about like a union and a marriage and like a higher level of commitment with you. Um, and a, a real future. They really are just wanting security right now, though. And I feel like they feel like there is an unstable ground. And maybe you do as well. Just because it seems like, um, again, there's like an ending or a perceived ending that they're stressing out about. But they do have motivation to maybe make some changes and um, like come towards you. Okay. Let's get a couple more cards out. What else would this person have to say right now if they felt like they could be totally honest? We have let's take a trip together. So this person might be thinking about traveling to see you if you're long distance or like literally just taking a trip with you or something like that. We also have thank you. This person is grateful. What was that? I'm upset. And then this popped with it. I don't want to hurt you, okay? So this person is hurting. They don't want to hurt you. Again, there's some type of deep conflict going on here that your person really is just wanting to like get to the bottom of and correct from what I can see because they're hurting. They feel like you're hurting too. They don't want to hurt you. It's just a hot mess right now. I don't know. Everything reminds me of you. Okay, life will never be the same after meeting you, definitely. And then let's get one more card out. Also, this person have to say, please. You're everything I have ever wished for. Wow, strong messages coming from your person. Yeah, they definitely don't want to let this connection go. I am going to take a sip of my water real quick, you guys. You're welcome to pause the reading if you want an extra second to reread those messages. And then we're going to hop into the tiles, charms, and zodiac dice portion of the reading. And that's meant to be just for extra confirmation. If the rest of the reading has been resonating with you so far, it's still your reading. I do that simply just to add some like icing on the cake just to give you... A little bit of an extra dose of confirmation for whoever needs to hear that out there okay we're gonna get started with the zodiac dice this could be their sun moon or rising sign or yours we have Taurus Aries Capricorn Virgo and one more Aquarius okay perfect and then let's get out some 
Kyle's. This could spell out their name, initials, or your name and initials. Also, just important words for the connection. We have a blank V E M R T D M and A. Okay, Rome could be important. Um, I'm seeing the word mom coming out. Somebody in this connection could be a mother or want to have kids one day. Um, REM, again, your person's been having a lot of dreams. That's a big change that they've been going through recently is having some sort of prophetic dreams about you in this connection. Okay. Whoa, that was way more charms than I planned on, you guys. Um, we also have a U coming out here and a W or another M. I think it's a W, though. But you can take it if a third M is significant for some reason. Okay, we have a butterfly coming out here. We have the fleur de lis, I believe this is called. So maybe France is important um, to this connection. Um, we have a butterfly, so there is big change coming here. We have a flower key coming out here. It's almost like because, you know, butterflies, you know, feed from flowers, right? And there's a flower on this key here. It's almost telling me that this change holds the key to something important for the two of you. And we have another flower over here as well. Um, so this upcoming change is going to be very significant for both of you. And it's going to unlock something new within each of you. And then of course, we have the cross here. So somebody in this connection could be Christian, or pray or religious. Um, you know, factors could be playing a role for the two of you. Okay, now what we're going to do is get you out a message from the universe before we hop into today's extended, where again, we will cover like what's coming next in this connection. And I'm going to get out your butterfly affirmation as well. When the world feels like it's coming crashing down around you, take that as an opportunity to find yourself and let go of who you thought you were. Not all storms come to destroy your life. Some come to clear your path. Decide that this crisis will be the turning point for what you have been waiting for. And then we have the butterfly here. If you have made it this far into the reading, drop a butterfly emoji down below to let me know. This is your affirmation of the day. You are welcome to read it aloud with me or comment it down below to affirm. It is easy for me to attract all that I need into my life. I do this by relaxing and trusting that things are going to work out perfectly. It's interesting how these two connect like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this portion of the reading here. For those of you who are not joining us for the extended, thank you very much. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Keep shining bright. And for those of you who are, I will see you over there momentarily. Bye for now, guys.